Hey, how you doing, everybody? This is a uh, movie king. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and reshoot. Uh, decided to kind of reshoot the uh, my Blu-ray collection video. I didn't like the screen size, um, so we're gonna redo that because it just it was bothering me so much. I wanted to kind of reshoot it for y'all. Um, So what we'll do, um, I'm going to do my, um, I did a couple uh, Marvel things earlier, so I'm going to kind of keep that separate. Try to keep my Blu-ray stuff separate, my Marvel stuff separate, um, my game stuff separate. Because <clears throat> I understand some people might like one, might not like the other. I don't know. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of go over these um, real quickly. Um, kind of go over my collection. and um, So... I guess before I, I'll kind of preface it. Um, I like to buy sets. Um, I keep a lot of stuff. Um, I try to buy everything in, with at least slip covers. Um, I'm real funny about it. Um, I buy a lot of my stuff used. Um, I don't necessarily buy things that are special edition or rare. Uh, most of the stuff I buy are movies that I've seen before and that I like. With very few exceptions, and I'll, I'll kind of point those out. Um, I'd say 98% of everything I have, I've watched at least once, and I bought it because I like the movie. Not because it was some expensive edition or whatever. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on the people that do that, because there are plenty of people on here that um, have a lot of really cool collections that are worth a lot of money. Um, if, if it's a steelbook edition and I get it for a good price, great, I'll get it. If it's a really cool... You know, Digipack, I'll get it. If it's a really cool, whatever, I'll get it. Um, if it's on sale, if it's a good price. Um, it, now if it's not some type of, like, box set or uh, steelbook or something like that, I do like to buy with the slipcovers. I am, I will not buy something because it doesn't have a slipcover. Um, so, with that said, um, what we're going to do here, we're just going to kind of go along the line here. My big fat hands. The way I have this stacked up is kind of weird, but so we're gonna start off, and the order I have these in, some of them are kind of by genre, by actor. I don't have them alphabetically ordered, or not all meticulously uh, set up like a lot of people do, which is great. I, my hats off to them for doing that. Um, so this one, Prince of Persia, really cool piece. It's got the uh, slipcover and everything with that. Um, I've got Contagion here. Uh, Looper. I've got National Treasure. This right here is a UK import. It's a um, actually got National Treasure one and two on it. Um, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool find. Uh, double feature, Grumpy Old Man, Grumpier Old Man. Click Fifty First States. Just go with it. Um, I've got all three hangovers here. Um, all of these are um, a lot of my movies are in pretty good condition. I'd say like new to very good. Um, if I had to put a rating on them. Um, a lot of these I'll probably even watch once and may not even watch them again, depending on the movie. Uh, so like this one, I think part two I've never even watched since I bought. Now, I've seen it before that, but um, I don't even think I've watched it since I actually bought it. I'm just not a big fan of part two. I think a lot of people feel the same way. Part one and three, priceless. Um, again, all these are slipcovers. I got uh, Death at the Funeral, Due Date funny movie um three pack right here this is pretty cool um this is a um, I, I had this on dvd when i was um, when i was a kid um it's a pretty cool triple feature demolition man over the top tingling cash found that on ebay um from what i understand it's like a i don't know if it's like a canadian exclusive or something like that but for some reason um couldn't really find it in the states um, so I've got the internship here. I've got Tropic Thunder. So let's put that in this right here. Uh, I've got the Dilemma. I've got uh, Dumb and Dumber. I've got Spies Like Us, Funny Farm, little two pack right here. I got Vacation. I got Office Space, Step Brothers, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Gangs of New York. If you haven't seen that, you really should. If you have a weak stomach, you should, probably shouldn't see it. Um, Dread. Uh, surrogates with a slipcover. Um, 
We've got Stargate here. Great movie. Men in Black 3. Working on getting the other two. Um, Hurt Locker. Good movie. Got a slipcover with that as well. Book of Eli with the slipcover. I got Prisoners with the slipcover. Um, Gone Girl. It's like a. I'm not even really sure what to call it. It's like a digipack thing. It's got like the book with it. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, it's got like a little book that. Uh, the, the, I don't know. Where's Amy or some something like that. But from the movie. It's just this the same book that was in the movie. <clears throat> Hancock, Will Smith, good movie. Uh, I got Neighbors uh, with the slipcover, The Hobbit with the slipcover, Interstellar with the slipcover, Horrible Bosses with the slipcover. Um, I do have, um, I had more Lord of the Rings stuff. <clears throat> I had more Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, I actually, I kind of like to trade up, as in like, uh, sometimes I'll sell things to get like better editions of it. Like I had like a little three pack of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It wasn't like the nice box set that's out. So what I did was I sold that. Um, actually in the process, I'm going to get like the whole, like the really nice set. I'm going to get the nice Hobbit set too with all all the movies in it. Um, let's see. So we've got, <clears throat> let's go down here. Let's give you a nice little full shot of all these. We'll go through all these here in a second. I've got uh, Hellboy 1 and 2. i got a little mini Van Damme collection here. Got Bloodsport, this is a little two pack right here. It's a Bloodsport Tom Cop. Death Warrant, Kickboxer. Um, Matrix Trilogy. Um, so this isn't the box set, this is just. Um, it's all three of them, um, just a little triple pack. Um, really cool slipcover, um, really nice colors on it. Apollo 13, I've got another little triple pack here. It's a Poseidon Twister Perfect Storm. Um, Skyfall with a slipcover, Gravity, I Am Legend, Now You See Me, got a really cool slipcover on that one, um, Buried, Avatar, Ninja Turtles, 1, 2, and 3, the originals, not the new one, um, I do have the new one, which I'll get to that somewhere down here, I've got the new one too, but um, it's kind of a gift, so I'm not really the biggest fan of the new Turtles, um, obviously one was the best two um, liked a lot um, three is okay I still like three if, if I had to pick three against the new turtles I'd still pick part three um, the turtles in time some people may not agree World War Z um, still cover with that young guns for all the younger viewers out there you don't know what you're missing awesome movie uh, frequency salt the prestige um, so I don't know if you like anybody likes magic or stuff like that I don't know if people have seen this movie it's a great movie. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Lawless. Um, Monuments Men, 21, Ladder 49, The Guardian. The Guardian's a good movie. Um, big Kevin Costner fan. Um, Taurus, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, Flight. Uh, Unknown, Slipcover. Uh, Ides of March. Now here's a weird... <clears throat> I pointed this out in my last video. This is a weird little three-pack. It's Brothers, Man on a Ledge, which... Love those two movies. They're kind of suspenseful movies. I get it. Um, Conan, not really sure what that's doing there. Now, this is one of those exceptions. I've never seen Conan, not the new one. I've seen the older ones, you know, with Arnold. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of this one, but not enough to really tell you anything about it. Um, mainly got this from Man and the Ledge and Brothers. Um, really a big fan of those two movies. Um, Captain Phillips, Castaway, Green Mile, Forrest Gump, Two Pack. Um, Little Tom Hanks section there. Uh, Law Abiding Citizen, The Gray. Uh, Gray is one of my favorite movies. Um, a lot of people don't give it the love I think it deserves. It's a, it's a really good movie. Um, Constantine, uh, Counter Reeves. It's a good movie. Uh, especially if you're into like supernatural stuff. I got Night at the Museum. This is a double pack here. This is actually part one and two in that one. And then I have Secret of the Tomb, which is the, the third installment. It's got a really, really, really nice slipcover on that one. I mean, it's colors really pop on that one. Um, uh, continue on with the Ben Stiller here. We got Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, the Little Fockers, Few Good Men. Um, Patriot, I think, is in the wrong spot. It shouldn't be here. It should be with the Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson section. Um, Few Good Men, Patriot, Top Gun, Valkyrie, and Glorious Bastards. Um, so I don't know if you guys are, you know. Uh, I'm kind of a history buff too, so I like period movies. Um, 
I, I like historical movies, especially ones that have like some facts behind them. Um, really big fan of those. Um, let's see, it. Source Code, Robin Hood, uh, Next Three Days, both of those, really nice, all three of those have really nice slip covers with those. Um, Next Three Days got a pretty, it's like a pretty cool slip cover with that one. <clears throat> so we'll come down here. So this next, this next one, uh, this next little aisle here, um, don't judge me. Um, a lot of this stuff is my wife's movies. I'm sure some people will be like, yeah, right, it's your movies. Um, whatever. <laughs> New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, uh, He's Just Not That Into You, Maid of Honor, Ghost of Girlfriend's Past, which is actually pretty funny. Um, Anna, Anna Karina, not sure what that is. It's got like Carrie Knightley in it. I haven't watched that. Um, Something Borrowed, Bride Wars, Fool's Gold, Devil Wars Prada, You've Got Mail. Again, Tom Hanks movie. I love Tom Hanks movies. I'm a, you know, Joe vs. Joe versus Volcano, Sleepless in Seattle. Say what you want. Um, I think I like anything Tom Hanks movies. Wizard of Oz, Sandlot, classic. How to Train Your Dragon, Maleficent, Narnia. Um, it's complicated. Bounty Hunter, Couples Retreat, good movie. It's got the slipcover cover with that. Um, Marley and Me. I've got The Natural and um, Natural and some uh, League of Their Own. And a little two pack there. Sex and the City one and two. Second one has the slipcover. cover. Hope floats. Runaway Bride. Eat, Pray, Love. Harry Met Sally. Um, Easy A. Time Traveler's Wife. French Kiss. Willy Wonka. Princess Bride, and we get to some Christmas movies here. Now, Nash Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, a little Clark Griswold action. Um, buy it if you don't own it. Everybody needs to have this movie. Miracle on 34th Street, the original, not the, um, not the newer one that came out like in the like the 90s. This is a, a pretty cool slipcover too. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. You have to have that. Um, it's weird too with these these older movies. God, they cost. You'd be surprised. Um, I, th I think I probably paid more for these Christmas movies than I guess than my other ones. Um, White Christmas, Polar Express, uh, Grinch Stole Christmas. This is the Jim Carrey movie, not the cartoon. Uh, Disney's Christmas Carol. Now that's the cartoon. Uh, the one with Jim Carrey in it. Fred Claus, Home Alone one and two. Not a fan of the other Home Alones. Uh, I probably won't buy them because I don't like them. Four Christmases, Rise of the Guardians, got Toy Story 1 and 3. I do not have two. I'm looking for a good deal on two. I've got Up. i got Despicable, ugh, excuse me, Despicable Me 1 and 2. Both of those in the slipcover. Let's come down an aisle here. Got some more like the blockbuster comic book movies. Um, Transformers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Part 2, so Revenge of the Fallen and Age of Extinction, I have both of those in slipcovers. Um, and Transformer stuff is just pretty cool looking, like, it's really neat. Um, I got all the, of course, all the Nolan Dark Knight movies. I've got uh, Man of Steel, slipcover here. Spider-Man 1 and 2. X-Men, Days of Future Past, and the slipcover. Um... I'll come back. I got a box set for the rest of the X-Men. I'll come back to that. Uh, Iron Man 1, 2, and 3. Thor, Avengers, Guardians of Galaxy, Prometheus. Um, big Aliens fan. Uh, this is the Aliens Quadrilogy. It's got 1 through 4 on that one. Um, pretty cool little set. Got the Predators Trilogy. So it's the first and second one with Arnold, the one with Danny Glover, then the one with like the one that came out, I don't know, like six years ago or something with like Lawrence Fishburne and Adrian Brody and whoever else was in there. Not really important. Um, so I've got signs here. I've got 300. It's a little blurry. Sorry about that. I've got signs. I've got 300. Um, Rise of Planet of the Apes, 1408, Shutter Island, Inception, Crazies. Identity and Vacancy in a two-pack. Um, the Town. I've got a three-pack right here. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Last House on the Left, The Strangers, and Perfect Getaway. That's a really cool suspense um, kind of three-pack. I think I got that at Best Buy. 
secret window, um, saving Private Ryan in a uh, nice little, nice little shiny slipcover, Sapphire series slipcover. Braveheart, um, classic movie. Gladiator and Troy in a two pack. Now here's a three pack that makes a little more sense. Um, Lincoln Lawyer, Alex Cross, and one for the money. That one makes a little more sense than the other one. Vantage Point. Um, Elysium, Sherlock Holmes, and the slipcover. I got Sherlock Holmes Games of Sh Shadows in a box set. Um, Total Recall, Cliffhanger, Rambo, Expendables, Expendables 2 in the slipcover. Just bought part three. I got a good deal on it, so that's coming. Um, so that'll I'll update that soon. Uh, Olympus Has Fallen, The Fugitive of Eagle Eye. That's the new Turtles. Gangster Squad, X-Files, Wanna Believe, and X-Files Fight for the Future. Big X-Files fan. Can't wait for the series to start up again in January. <clears throat> okay, so this is more... These are like box sets slash collections slash... Uh, more expensive stuff here. Okay, so... So a bottom shelf. This is where all the money's at. So, um... Got the Born Trilogy box set here. Um... I went ahead and threw Born Legacy in a slipcover. Threw it down here too, just to kind of... It goes with it, right? So, I've got uh, Star Trek, um, the Next Generation Motion Picture Collection. So these are all the one with Captain Picard, and Patrick Stewart. Um, these are the movies. Um, I want to get the um, all the series with with them in it. Um, I've been looking for a good deal for that. Um, I haven't taken the plunge on that one yet, but I will. Um, I want to get all the Next Generation episodes. Not that I don't like the older ones, but that's just what, that's just me personally, it's what I grew up on. Um, I was born in 84, so a lot of the 90s, um, I grew up watching Next Generation. Um, Star Trek, the newer ones of Chris Pine. Um, first one, second one here, this one's pretty cool. I like this slipcover, it's a pretty cool slipcover for Into Darkness. Star Wars box sets. So it's episodes one through six. Um, pretty cool set. Another UK import here. Um, the Mummy trilogy. Pretty self explanatory. Um, Ghostbusters one and two, self explanatory. This is the, the, the cool little digi pack. Um, it's got a little, little booklet in it. Um, so next up, I have a. Uh, I've got the Indiana Jones movies. I, I don't have the box set for this, and I've been thinking about getting the actual box sets, uh, box set instead of um, having them individually. Uh, I bought these; they were like on sale on a Black Friday. They were like I don't know, it was really cheap, like four bucks a piece or something at Best Buy. So you know, I'm like, well, hell, if I can get the whole set for you know, fifteen, sixteen bucks. Why wouldn't I just do that instead of paying, you know, 30 for the actual box set that had the same movies? Um, but I've gotten a little funny, a little picky. Um, I don't have to have the box set, but if I found it for a good deal, I'd probably get it and then just sell these. Um, these are just the individual releases. All these have slipcovers, really nice slipcovers, too. These are still, I've only watched these probably once a piece since I've bought them. Um, Chris Keenum or Crystal Skull. Couldn't find a slipcover with that one. So, uh, something... I need to get that. Die Art Collection. One through four. It doesn't have the one with... Uh, where he meets his son in Russia. It doesn't have that one. Now, this is the rest of the X-Men movies. This is the... X-Men and the Wolverine Collection. Um, it's got X-Men one through three. Um, Origins Wolverine, First Class, and the Wolverine. And that one. So that kind of rounds out my Marvel stuff here. Rocky Collection. Got to have that. It's got all the Rockies up until this point. Um, this is the Undisputed Collection. Uh, Ocean's 12, little box set. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, really hard. Nice, nice solid case. Um, it's got like dice and playing cards or something it came with. Um, this is the UK import of the Pirates of the Caribbean um, set. This is the this is all of them um, with the Stranger Tides and everything. So um, 
this is pretty cool. I, I, I think this looks better than the, the set that they have in America. I think the one in America is just like a... It's almost like this. It's almost kind of like the mummy, where it's like one case, but then it has like all of them in it. Whereas this one, it's like an actual little nice little box to it. Um, I think it looks really nice. This is this is one of my favorites. Terminator Anthology. Um, got this really good deal at Best Buy. Um, just looks so awesome. How cool is that? Um, everything's all embossed on there. Um, and that's got all the Terminator movies up to date, obviously, except for Genesis, which just came out, which is an awesome movie, by the way. Um, Jurassic Park Collection. So this is the set that just came out right before the Jurassic World came out in theaters. Um, so this has all the all three Jurassic Parks, and it's cool because um, I waited to get this because um, I knew that this was going to have... Um, it's actually got sleeves for the Jurassic World movies, so that way... When those finally come out on Blu-ray, I just have to buy it and slip the disc right in the set. That way it's still all in the same box set. I thought that was pretty cool. <clears throat> Maybe I'm, you know, weird for that, but I thought it was a pretty cool feature. Lethal Weapon box set. Um, this one's UK box set. Um, now, I believe this just came out in the States not that long ago. And it's literally the same box. Um, just minus the UK symbol, obviously. Um, that's a pretty cool set. Love Lethal Weapon. Back to the Future, 25th Anniversary Edition. I know they just came out with... Um, this is the, the Trilogy box set, by the way. Um, I know they just came out with the 30th Anniversary. Um, I don't know if I'm going to worry about getting that. Um, it's definitely a different case. It looks a little, It looks pretty cool. I think it's like white looking. Um I haven't made up my mind about that. I'm not that cosmetic. So this is Taken Trilogy. Now this is pretty cool too. This has all three Taken movies in it. Um, it's from the Netherlands. Um, so it's, a, it's obviously an import. Um, it works in America just fine. I've got a. I play everything on a PS4 Blu-ray player. Um, PS4 Blu-ray player. Wow. Like there's something special. Like there's a you know PS4 Blu-ray player, the Blu-ray player inside the PS4. Okay, so um, that's that. Um, Clash of the Titans, Wrath of the Titans, Steelbook set. I had a really good deal on those uh, at Best Buy. I've got the UK import Blu-ray set for the Harry Potter um, edition. I've heard that th for some reason. And I've heard this from, you know, reading several sources here, like, sometimes the UK imports, for some reason, the, the the way they transfer from the raw source to the Blu-rays, sometimes is better. Um, actually, a lot of the times, it's actually better from imports. That's just what I've heard. Um, and some of the stuff I've actually noticed myself. Uh, for instance, for instance, Harry Potter. Um... I have noticed, I've seen the Harry Potter, like, uh, we had, um, I think I had part seven and part eight, um, just like on a regular Blu-ray, like from, from here. And then we bought this, we found this for a good deal. And so like I compared the two and it was, I'm not saying it was a big enough difference to, you know, go out of my way to buy it, but there was a difference. These are actually a little bit cleaner, um, it's just it's 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 a little less pixelated um if you really get up on it um i've noticed a couple of i think mummy too i think mummy i've noticed a difference in the mummy um i watched i want to say like the first or second one on blu-ray then i watched one of these it's a little bit cleaner um i don't know what they do differently but um i i have actually seen proof of that it's mission impossible quadrilogy uh, everything up to ghost protocol and Hunger Games 1, 2, and 3. First two are, I mean, the 1 and 3 are in um, slipcovers. Second one here is like a little digi book. And that's that for that. Uh, I got some more Blu rays coming. I will do an update. Um, so it was a little bit shorter than my last one. And once again, I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in particular. Um, subscribe, comment, follow. Um, disagree with it, you know, whatever, um, give me your feedback, and, uh, that's it, take care, see you guys later.